One of R. Kelly's former live-in girlfriends is revealing what it was like to spend nearly a decade with him. The docu-series Surviving R. Kelly shows Dominique Gardner's mother tracking her down after not having seen her for years. They made a dramatic getaway. Now, less than a year after Gardner left Kelly for the last time, she tells a New Yorker the singer tried to, in her words, break her. She says Kelly was physically and emotionally abusive. Jerika Duncan is in Chicago, where she spoke to the author of the article. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. Dominique Gardner is now 27 years old. She says that she spent nine years dating the R&B singer. She told the journalist Jim DeRogatis uh, that even though she loved R. Kelly, uh, despite the abuse, she said she got two tattoos of Kelly's face tattooed on her body. She was reluctant to speak out. Jim DeRogatis has been reporting on R. Kelly for nearly two decades. Last week, he sat down with Dominique Gardner for her first interview since she left Kelly around nine months ago. She said to me, I loved him and he loved me. And when it was good, Jim, it was perfect. And yeah, he hit me. And yeah, he pulled out chunks of my hair. And yeah, he beat me with an electrical cord. But I loved him and he loved me. Gardner told DeRogatis at one point she lived with Kelly and five other women. She said, quote, everything you do, you have to ask Kelly, including when you can eat or go to the bathroom. She said she often disobeyed and then suffered what she called, quote, consequences, including spankings, slappings and beatings. She seemingly is angry when describing some of what she says she experienced. But yet and still, she says he doesn't deserve jail and... He's really not a bad person. He needs help. I think Neek is a really conflicted young woman. There's love, and then there's also fear. There's anger, and there's pain. Last week, we spoke to Dominique's mother, Michelle Kramer. I can't understand how somebody say they love you, and in the same breath, spinning your mother face. That's what you say R. Kelly did to your daughter? Yes. Does Dominique believe she was brainwashed? No, she rejects the word brainwash. She rejects the word cult. She told me what he tried to do is break me, break me, and I wouldn't be broken. Gardner says that she decided to speak out because she, quote, wanted to speak her truth. Now, yesterday, Chicago police were called uh, to Kelly's residence because of an anonymous tip about a suicide pact. Police say a possible suicide pact, rather. Police say uh, that report was unfounded. Kelly continues to deny all accusations of abuse. He is due back here in family court later this morning. Gail? Tarika, thank you.